Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me. I'm just doing a really quick tutorial on AmiBroker and the explore function. The explore function is really handy if you want to find uh, stocks that meet a certain criteria at the moment. Um, in this particular example, and then you can actually filter those results as well, so it's it's pretty pretty cool thing uh, and very useful um, in your AmiBroker knowledge as well to use AmiBroker. Um, now, Looking at the explore function, the one that we're going to use today is a percentage change uh, filter. So in other words, we're looking at the percentage change from yesterday of the particular stocks and we'll be able to filter them from top to bottom or bottom to top or however however we like. Now the first thing we want to do is jump into our analysis, um, our formula editor. So we go analysis up the top here, formula editor, that brings up our formula editor, uh, surprise surprise, amazingly enough. Um, and then what I want to do is just really quickly grab the code um, that I prepared earlier. This is one that I prepared earlier at the site here at asxmarketwatch.com. Um, all it is, and we'll go through it, I'll just copy and paste that into here. So what we're doing here, see this uh, uh, percent change basically here, that is, that's what's called an array. It's like an object and by using that and then the equals, um, what we're doing is setting up so that every time that that appears in our code, then Ami Broker will do this basically, and what follows it is is you know what it will do. So what follows it in this case is is our percentage change. Um, you know it, it will find the percentage change from yesterday, and then for an explore function, all we need to do is set up the filter. So it, we need to filter it. That's what we're doing. We're filtering the stocks. So if we go filter equals our array, which under this under these circumstances is um, a percent change or PC. HNG, basically a just shortened version of it. Um, you could call it anything you like, like you could call it um, awesome if you really wanted to, and it would do the same thing. Um, but yeah, so that's what an array is, and so long as we've got our filter in there, that will do what we want it to do. The next two things are just adding columns. So in other words, the columns that we can um, that we can uh, filter through our results by and this will all make sense in a second as well We've got our closing price obviously and we've got our percent change as well and there that array just pops up again Now I might recommend just pasting this into notepad before you actually paste it in or just typing it in separately Just because copying and pasting it from a web page uh, sometimes brings you know some unwanted spaces and that sort of thing and it may not work correctly so if you copy and paste it from notepad or if you type it in just yourself then this should work perfectly and what we do is we just uh, send this to our automatic analysis so we click tools and send to auto analysis obviously we can also just click this one here and uh, and so there's a few different ways to do it and uh, so if we do that now our automatic analysis um, our tool comes up in AMI Broker. And what we'll do here is just work from left to right. So we will work first through our apply to section. So this is what we want to apply it to. Do we want to apply it to our current symbol, which in this case is the all ordinaries, um, or we could use a filter. If we do that, we just click define and we want group zero and then our chosen watch list. Let's look through the, yeah, let's look through the ASX top 50 at the moment and click OK. And then we want to look at our range, the next section here. We can look at um, the range from the last one day is the uh, is the best way to look at it for this particular filter. Um, obviously because we're trying to filter out stocks from the last one or two trading days. If we were doing a back test, we would, uh, we would select a larger period of time, but because we want the most recent results, we just want the last day. Now, from here, we can select settings. We just set our period periodicity to daily and our report to trade list, and then we click OK. So there are a lot of other functions in there, but we don't really need to go through them at all. And then last but not least, we just click explore, and happy days, it does all the work for us. We don't have to do anything. And as you can see, we've got these columns that we added in our AMI Broker AFL. Uh, we've got the closing price, which is fantastic. And we've also got the percentage change. So if we look at this, we can go from bottom to top or top to bottom. And let's go from top to bottom. So as you can see in the top 50, we've got, you know, large movers. We've got Telstra. We've got... Um, 
uh, Westfield, we've got Brambles and A and Z and that sort of thing. So, you know, uh, some of these have been the top movers throughout the day. If we were to filter it the other way, just by clicking on our percentage change filter here, then um, as you can see, Blue Scope Steel or BSL, it was the biggest loser for the day. Oh man, that's harsh. And um, Aluka Resources and Toll Holdings. All of those got smashed quite heavily. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's a great way to filter and to find the biggest movers either up or down throughout the day using the simple explore function. Make sure you've got the filter defined in your AmiBroker AFL, your filter, and then it's happy days. Apart from that, I hope that has helped in some small way. I'm just getting a basic introduction to AmiBroker AFL and AmiBroker you know, as a charting platform. And um, until next time, happy trending. Have a great week, guys. Bye for now.